Let's try and darken that up a bit with some cloud. Oh, that's wonderful. What if we were to change all that to, to rock? OK, let's click on rock, and then we got to replace the mountain. And let's try waterfall just by pulling water down from the top there. OK. Wouldn't it be great if everybody could be an artist? If we could take our ideas and turn them into compelling images? This technology allows us to create a smart paintbrush so that if you wanted to create a new picture, you can just draw the shapes of the objects that you want, and the neural network can then fill in all the details. If we add a water feature, the network is able to add reflections, not because we told it that, but because it learned it. Or if we change the ground to be covered in snow, then it knows that the sky also needs to be a different color. I really think this technology is going to be great for architects, designers, people making virtual worlds to train robots and self-driving cars. The input to this model is something we call a segmentation map. It's like a coloring book picture that describes, here's where a tree is, here's where the sky is, here's where the ground is, and it doesn't have any details. And then the neural network is able to fill in all the texture and shadows and the colors based on things that it's learned from a large database of real world images. I would like to see that tree reflecting in that pond. The real advance here is that we're able to synthesize images with a lot more diversity and more fidelity than we were able to in the past. I really think this technology is gonna be great for the dreamers of the world, 